Okay, next let's make a rotary roughing operation. So I press new operation. Here in roughing operation section we have rotary roughing. I press create. Okay, the tool is selected automatically. Next, first of all I need to select uh, the job zone axis, rotary axis, which is by default with WCS X, but I need WCS Z of course. So the axis is correct now. Now let's limit the work zone by moving this element, let's say like this. So now it is the same as the back surface of the part. So and press run and let's look what we have here. Okay, so it's a roughing operation. So let's um, make some uh, radial stock, let's say one millimeter and axial stock one millimeter. Reset, run. Reset, run, okay. Okay, almost ready. So next, let's decrease depth step. Let's say it will be 50% from two of tool diameter, it is four millimeters. So here we have the sign, which says we have some problem, some error in the operation. So I click this icon and here I hover, hover the mouse pointer and I can see that, that the problem is contact with the model on rapid fit. So the problem is clear because here in links, at le links and the leads section, we have fit distance, which is set to one millimeter. We have depth step, which is four millimeters. So I will set fit distance, let's say five millimeters, have an overlap, recalculate the tool path and the, the um, error message has disappeared. So, and the last thing I'm going to make is to set up an offset. So here is the offset parameter. I press this check and let's say we will have 50% from tool diameter and press run. Here is my roughing operation. Let's uh, simulate it. So I go to simulation page and press play. And one more thing, we can change the direction of the cutting. Let's do it, go back to machining, pay, machining section. And here, Excel direction, we will change from forward to backward. Reset, run. And now let's simulate once again, reset the workpiece, simulate up to current operation and press run. Okay, that's much better. So we can see that the offset is also applied here. So the tool is directed not precisely to the rotary axis, but with a little offset somewhere here. Everything is visible clear. So let's increase the speed of the simulation. First layer, second layer and so on. Next layer. Okay, the simulation is done. I will check uh, with verify compare function just to see that everything is fine. So roughing seems to be fine. We are ready for next operations.